So we work both with NHS partners to help support their programmes, identify uh, innovation, service change of high value, that might be drugs, it might be devices, it might be service redesign, increasingly we're looking at diagnostics and digital interventions. We work with innovators both in uh, the NHS, academia and industry to help develop their value proposition, to help them develop businesses, obtain investment and support the economic growth of uh, the country, uh, which in itself would increase well-being. And obviously we have strong links with the universities and academic health science centres uh, in terms of supporting, putting through uh, research of high value for patients and the population. From a national perspective, we work really closely with the academic health science networks on um, spreading innovations, and uh, we really see the role developing in, in three ways. So, focusing around reducing healthcare inequalities, which has been only heightened by the challenges we've seen during COVID, it's a really important role for HSNs to work with their local system partners, to so work with their integrated care systems, to work with their hospitals, to look at what are the innovations right now that are available to patients on the market and what support do those organisations need in bringing those innovations that can reduce healthcare inequalities to patients. The NHS is a complicated beast as we're continuing to learn and they've really helped us to connect the dots in terms of who's who, who do we need to connect with and also presenting our story in such a way that it's going to be really compelling to the NHS so they've been amazing. All the 15 AHSNs involve patients in different ways but we collaborate together and we share good practice. So we go out into communities involving people that wouldn't otherwise go to the GPs or get involved in healthcare, in the mosques, community centres, libraries, um, and we're also involved in the Gypsy Roma community and getting voices heard from all communities so that the inequality agenda is, is uh, addressed in healthcare so that everybody has a chance to have a say. Secondly, we've actually got to be forward looking as well so that we're prepared for the next range of things coming through. So what support do systems need from HSNs to actually understand what's coming through in future years that systems and hospitals can start preparing for this year so that they're more prepared and that these things will get to patients more quickly. Health Innovation Manchester in particular has been wonderful in helping us to build contacts and connections with key opinion leaders across Manchester to support our adoption of epidemics into their trusts. Now what my hope is, is to work with them and the other AHSNs across the UK to spread the product nationally in different hospitals. Last year, uh, we supported over 2,000 companies in terms of developing their products and supporting uptake in the NHS. And by company's own assessment, we uh, helped them leverage over £450 million of investment. And thirdly, we know that we're not going to have all the answers to these things, so it's important that we are feeding the research pipeline as well, so understanding where are the gaps, so where do we need more research and how can we talk with um, and, and bring that information to other ac uh, accelerated access collaborative partners such as the National Institute for Health Research to plug those research gaps. So when we're introducing new innovations or new healthcare ideas, systems, products into the NHS, it's vital that patients have a say in it so that we make sure that whatever their needs, their culture, background, it fits everybody.